The Vogue magazine just announced their list of the 12 best travel destinations in 2023, and we are so excited because Guatemala made it on the list. And we just came back from Guatemala not too long ago, and we had one of the best trips ever. My name is Chris and welcome to our channel Fly Kids Fly. We posted two videos from Guatemala, this amazing hotel Habitanango in the middle of nowhere on a slope of a volcano. We stayed in a little hut, a habit hut, and the kids had an amazing time. We had wonderful food and great people, great service, beautiful views, breathtaking views of the active volcanoes. And then we went to the little town of Antigua, Antigua, Guatemala, which means old Guatemala. And that was just the most charming town we've seen a very 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 long time and I'm going to come back to our Guatemala trip in a minute because we will be posting more videos and I will tell you where else we went and what else we did let's check out the other 11 travel destinations that Vogue magazine is recommending to visit in 2023 and let me know in the comments if you've been to those destinations and what you think if they're really worth going or not so we have Guatemala and I love to think that we contributed to the growth and Guatemala awareness because it's such a hidden gem that a lot of people don't even know Guatemala exists and that it's such a beautiful country with amazing people. So hopefully if only one person watches our videos and they go to Guatemala and tell other people to go and we contribute to that overall growth of tourism in Guatemala, I will be so happy. Then we have the Yukon territory in Canada. We've never been to Canada. We really hope to visit Canada this year. It's on our bucket list. Uh, we have the Arctic. I think our kids are a little too small right now, but definitely we'd like to go in the future. Um, Spain, I've been to Madrid. Uh, we've never been to Spain with kids. Definitely on our travel list for the near future. Mozambique, never been. We never really thought about going there. I think I'd visit some other countries before going to Mozambique. Um, Basilicata, Italy. I've been to Italy and traveled pretty much anywhere between Milan and Naples. Um, never been to Basilicata. This is where the James Bond movie No Time to Die was filmed. So even for this reason, that would be a really cool destination to go if you are in Italy. Then we have Japan that just reopened post-pandemic to tourism. Uh, we've been to Japan, highly recommended. I believe that everyone should go to Japan at least once in their lifetime. It's probably on everybody's travel list. Then we've got Scotland. Um, we have not thought about going to Scotland anytime soon, but definitely recommended. Then we have Portugal that lived in the shadow of Spain for a, such a very long time and now it's kind of discovered. And actually a lot of experts from the United States uh, go and move to Portugal because it's definitely more affordable, um, tax friendly, expat friendly, and uh, it's definitely cheaper than Spain, but equally as good from what people say. We've never been. Um, then we have Singapore. It was one of our f favorite trips. We stayed at the Marina Bay Sands Hotel and it was just breathtaking. If you ever have a minute, just research Marina Bay Sands Hotel in Singapore. It's an amazing hotel. It's a casino. They have plenty of restaurants. And, uh, we got the Patagonia, uh, Chile. Would love to go to Chile. Never been to South America. Um, Rome, Italy. I've been to Rome, but Rome's solid. I mean, everyone has to go to Rome, the eternal city, right? Wonderful architecture, lots of history, uh, good wine, good food, uh, beautiful cars. Uh, beautiful people, everything. Rome is like, a, you know, one of the top world destinations. And that's about it. Um, but coming back to Guatemala, we're going to post a video about our visit to the Guatemala City Zoo. We went there with kids and they had a great time because this is probably, this is definitely the best zoo we've ever been. And then we have another video coming about the Pacaya Volcano when we woke up early in the morning rode horses up the mountain and then we hiked a volcano to the top where we baked pizza and roasted marshmallows into volcanic heat. When we were leaving Guatemala we had tears in our eyes so definitely come back and check out those videos from Guatemala because it's a beautiful place to visit. I'm going to go back to editing those videos right now and let me know in the comments which of these destinations are your favorite if you've been, if you're planning to go and what you think about Guatemala. 